Hey, this is Chris Marquardt. I am going to do an experiment here. I read recently that DNG files in Lightroom are faster than original RAW files from a camera. And the reason that was quoted was that DNG files are optimized for uh, by Adobe, whereas um, the original RAW files, they are not as optimized. And that would make sense, right? Adobe develops the DNG format so they could put in specific optimizations to make sure they get the fastest speed out of them. So that's what I read, but you know, reading about it is not enough. I need to put things to the test, so I'm putting this to the test now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Canon RAW 2 files here, and let me mark them all and export them to DNG first. So same folder as original, add to catalog, I don't want them to stack no renaming, uh, image format DNG, camera was 7.1 and later, JPEG medium size, embed fast load data, even though I'm not really sure what that does, but let me embed it, uh, no resize, you know, nothing, and now let me export it. So, these get now exported to the hard drive, and by the way, these are 21 megapixel uh, Canon RAW 2 files, CR2, from a Canon 5D Mark II. So here's what I'm going to do. Once these are done, let me go to all photographs. Here are my DNG files, and I'm going to add them to my test collection. So back in the collection, here we go. Top row is the DNG files, bottom row is the Canon RAW files. Now, in order to um, determine the speed, let's first determine what kind of speed are we looking at. So I want to look at two different things. I want to look at the speed in generating previews because that can be quite time consuming and I want to look at the speed of exporting them to JPEG. So these are two very typical tasks for me. Oh, there's one flag one. Let me unflag that just to make it really even. But first, I want to delete all the previews. Now, I could do this from in here, but I'm actually going to quit Lightroom. I'm going to delete the previews.lrdata file, which is where the, light, uh, the previews reside. I'm actually going to clear the trash. So there is no preview data there. And starting Lightroom again now. And you see, it takes a second to build the minimum previews. Minimum size previews are the ones where uh, that it needs to display the thumbnail. So let me see, top row DNG. Now what I'm going to do is um, I will select all these seven pictures. One, two, three, four, five, seven. And I have next to the computer, I have an iPhone with a stopwatch app running. And now I'll simply go in here. And Lightroom is not generating any additional previews unless needed. So there are no one by one full size previews yet. Now all I'm going to do is click here and at the same time start the stopwatch and go. All right, you can see on the top it's rendering. It's actually taking its time. So these are the DNG files. The clock is ticking 16, 17, 18, 19. 20 seconds, four of seven previews rendered, six of seven, and seven of seven, yep, and done, 35.9 seconds. There's a bit of an error margin here. I'm not, not sure how good of a, of a tapper I am, but let's say 35.9, let's say 36 seconds. Um, okay, to be completely fair, I am going to quit again. I'm going to delete the previews again. I'm going to empty the trash again. So it's absolutely fair game. Both will get the same treatment. Okay, minimal previews rendered. Let me mark all these. So now we have six Canon RAW 2 files. And again, it was 36 seconds earlier. So now I'm going to reset the stopwatch and go again now. I found a bug. 
<laughs> I've marked seven pictures <laughs> and it tells me two of six. Okay, let me stop that. Adobe, you have a bug in there. And that's not a nice bug. So let's do the same thing again. I want to delete the previews and I'm gonna empty the trash. I'm gonna restart Lightroom. It's rendering the minimal ones and I'm marking seven pictures. I can't count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, previews and go. One of seven. <laughs> Look at that. Now it says one of seven, two of seven. Um, I have no idea what was going on there, but it doesn't seem to be consistent. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't really speak to the quality of Lightroom 4.2. This is Lightroom 4.2. This is the latest version as of recording this. Anyway, um, 6 of 7, 7 of 7, and... Come on, 7. Okay, how much was it for the DNGs? I... 36 seconds. This one actually took 38 seconds. So uh, we could say that the DNG was a tiny little bit faster than the CR2. Um, 36 instead of 38. Okay, so that is a tiny little bit of an advantage there. Um, the other thing I want to do now is I want to export them to JPEG. So I'm Gonna leave the now the previews. Actually, the DNGs don't have previews because I deleted them. So let me render those really quickly and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. I'll just cut this video here and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, little time jump done. We have finished the preview render for the DNGs. Now all the files, the CR2s and the DNGs are have their previews rendered. And now what I want to do is I want to select them and export them. And in this case, I want to export them. Yeah, why not to the same folder? I don't care. Uh, I want to make them JPEGs. 70% sRGB, well, let's resize them to 1100 long edge. Uh, yeah, let's throw in a bit of sharpening for good measure. Standard, all metadata, no watermarking. Um, after export, do nothing. So, I am going to export them. Um, three, two, one, go. So, stopwatch is running. By the way, this is all being done on an iMac, uh, on a MacBook Air i7, the fast one, the current model, or the latest model, and it's got eight gigabytes of RAM, so it's it's a decent little machine. And we're rendering exports from the DNG files. Almost there. Thirty-two seconds. Thirty-three. Done. 34.7 seconds. So that's the task of exporting these completed. I'm going to do the same for the CR2s. Let's see if we again get the bug. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe we do. Export. I'm just keeping these settings. Same quality, same everything. And... Oh, stop. <laughs> stop the stopwatch. Okay, I'm going to do the do the overwrite obviously. So let me start that again. And it's exporting seven files, that's what it says. So whatever happened earlier, I don't know. 
It's a weird, a weird one. There's a few things weird with with Lightroom 4.2. Anyway, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 9, 30, 35 seconds. So, I don't see the difference the, the purported difference between the original RAW files and the DNG files. The DNG files might have a very slight edge in some cases, but um, this very non-scientific <laughs> manual stopwatch type experiment um, gives me the impression that it's not worth doing DNGs if you're looking for performance. So that's my conclusion. And this is Chris Marquardt signing off. Take care.